any many congratulations a fantastic result and performance from the team today how hard did you guys feel to win this game it was it was a shift i mean we've played extra already we lost three 0 at home mm. it wasn't the performance we wanted or needed um but today we just showed what we can do against the top top team who mm. really went until the end i don't know how many added minutes it was but we went to the end Got to the best possible start though, the start of the game, goal up after nine minutes and that really gave the team a lift, didn't it? Yeah, 100%, that's what we said, we needed to go out from the minute from minute one and just give it our all and I mean, that showed and yeah, just happy mm. we finally did it. And the second goal, about 10 minutes to go, scored by yourself, free kick from about 30 yards. Well, everybody's asking me to ask you, <laughs> did you mean it? I did mean it, I said to Meg, I looked at Meg and I said, shall I shoot? Mm. And she was like, just do it. So I shot. I mean, I don't actually really remember where it went in the goal. I don't know if she got a touch on it. Mm. I then all of a sudden everyone's on top of me and yeah, buzzing. It actually went right in the top corner. I mean, oh, my, did it? my next question was going to be, did you? When did you actually realise it was going in? I, I suppose kicked, it's I just when it went it. in. I just it? kicked it and just hoped for the best, really. Mm. And yeah, happy days. You had to take a bit of pressure at times during the second half, but your back four, especially two central defenders, are yeah. tremendous games, didn't they? Our back four, uh, week in week out, just. Mm absolutely brilliant um, and that's what we wanted we wanted a clean sheet and I'm so happy for them and, and Chloe in goal that, um, that we got that mm. and it seems to be a situation that your team seems to relish isn't it? getting in front and hanging on and it's, it's, it's a situation that you like and, and many ways is what you're good at yeah definitely I mean as long as we can go 1-0 up and um, mm. yeah like I said the defence everyone worked 100% today and um, yeah that's all we can ask for mm. You joined Porter's Head at the start of the season. Could you envisage something like this when you when you came here? No, not, I mean, I know all the girls. I know Meg really, really well. So I've been around the club for, for quite a few years now. And, um, but yeah, it's from the outside, it's a family club. But mm. being a part of it is just something different. So yeah, I'm buzzing to be here. So it just means that little bit extra, does it? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it, it definitely does. When you love the club you play for. Mm. Fall in love, black like, love of the game. Yeah, it means that ten percent more. So yeah. Well, I think everyone here is in love with you right now because <laughs> that goal you scored was worth eight thousand pounds for the club, and so a yeah. club like Porter's Head has a fortune, isn't it? It will go. Honestly, it will go a long, long way for mm. for this club and the girls. So yeah, mm. just happy days, happy mm. days. And the draws tomorrow as we speak. Um, any preferences? No, City? We'll, t- we'll take anyone. Mm. We'll take anyone. Um, yeah, City are already down the road, so it'd be nice to get them on the home turf here, but yeah, we'll take anyone. If there's any home tie, really. We'll, yeah, we'll we want a home game. <laughs> Come to Bristol Road. <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, well played today, Eddie. Congratulations on the goal. Congratulations to you and everyone at Portishead. It was a tremendous performance and victory over a very good exit to say. We hope you get the draw you want in the next round, and thanks for taking the time coming and talking to us right Thank now. Thank you very much, Mike.